Once upon a not so long time ago, China's fighter jet program looked like a college of everyone else's greatest hits. Borrow a bit from the Russian Su-27, sprinkle in some Israeli Lavi, and voila you've got the J-11 and J-10. Sure, they worked, but they weren't entirely China's own. Fast forward to today, and the narrative has done a barrel roll. The FC-31, sometimes referred to as the J-35, is China's sleek declaration that it no longer needs to borrow blueprints. With the debut of its sixth-generation fighter jet, China has confidently marched onto the world stage of aviation innovation, waving goodbye to training wheels and possibly waving hello from 50,000 feet. How to spot a ghost you don't? Stealth used to be the art of not being seen. With the FC-31, it's now the science of being nearly invisible while packing enough firepower to ruin someone's week. This aircraft uses serpentine air ducts no, not a mythological snake, but a twisty design that hides the engine turbines from radar, its skin. A sci-fi blend of radar-absorbing carbon fiber and special coatings that turn radar waves into heat. If radar systems were trying to play hide-and-seek with this thing, they'd lose every time. The shape alone is so stealth-optimized, it could probably sneak past airport security with a sandwich in its pocket. Add in those internal weapons bays, and you've got an exterior smoother than a jazz solo at midnight. Every inch of the FC-31 is crafted to whisper through radar nets instead of blaring like a marching band. It doesn't just dodge detection, it practically dares radar to try. A sensor suite that would make the Avengers jealous. Forget eagle-eyed pilots, this jet has superhero-level awareness. We're talking infrared sensors to pick up heat signatures, radio frequency detection to eavesdrop on enemy systems, and long-range visual tracking to spot planes before they're a pixel in the sky. It's like giving the aircraft night vision, x-ray vision, and a sixth sense all at once. And because each detection mode covers a different weakness, the FC-31 sensory network leaves no blind spots. The result? An aircraft that knows what's around it before you even think about pressing the missile button. Bye-bye hydraulics. Hello sci-fi systems. Old-school jets ran on hydraulic systems, a maze of tubes and pressure that screamed, please don't leak. The FC-31 is ditching all that for a fully electric flight control system. This switch isn't just for futuristic vibes, it makes the jet lighter, more efficient, and a lot easier to maintain. It also frees up precious internal space for what really matters, weapons, electronics, and maybe a snack compartment. Think of it as swapping your noisy, leaky faucet for a smart tap that works on voice command and also launches missiles. Power moves. If fighter jets were judged by gym stats, the FC-31 would be bench-pressing small countries. Its twin Guizhou WS-13E prototype or WS-21 future version, engines churn out a combined 360 kN of thrust equivalent to five full-sized family cars rocketing down the runway. But unlike your car, these engines are designed to be stealthy, too. Their exhaust systems are cleverly cooled and shaped to reduce radar visibility. So not only can the FC-31 flex, it can do it silently, like a ninja sprinting through fog with jet engines strapped to its back. The engines also support thrust vectoring, which gives the pilot tighter turns and enhanced dogfight agility. That kind of maneuverability is not just impressive, it's life-saving in a close-range skirmish. Its brute force blended with ballet, wrapped in stealthy silence. A flying fortress that actually flies. This isn't just a sky showboat. The FC-31 is built to fight, evade, and survive in the world's most dangerous airspaces. It's got a top speed of Mach 1.8. That's 1,400 km per hour at sea level. A service ceiling of 16,000 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 28,000 kg. That's enough to carry 8,000 kg of weapons across internal and external mounts. And it can pull up to 9 gallons, meaning the pilot feels 9 times heavier during sharp turns. If your spine doesn't crack from the maneuvering, your enemy's radar systems might from the confusion. And thanks to its high fuel capacity and potential mid-air refueling, it can stay in the fight longer than most opponents. This jet was not made to cruise, it was made to dominate. It's part war machine, part endurance athlete. Weapons inside, swagger outside. The FC-31's designers clearly understand the golden rule of stealth. 
If it's outside the plane, it's probably ruining your invisibility. That's why most of its firepower long-range PL-15 missiles, short-range PL-10s, and ground-attack bombs are stored inside an internal weapons bay. That smooth exterior isn't just stylish, it keeps radar returns to a minimum. On the outside, it can still carry external weapons if needed, but make no mistake, this jet prefers to keep things classy and deadly beneath the surface. You could say it's got more hidden talents than your favorite magician. Internally stored weapons also reduce drag, which means better fuel efficiency and agility during combat. Every curve and contour is calculated to confuse enemy radar while keeping the jet battle ready. It's not just armed, it's artfully armed, a brainy beast. The FC-31 isn't a lone wolf, it's a pack hunter. Thanks to its advanced data sharing systems, it can link up with other aircraft, drones, and command centers in real time. If a stealth enemy is spotted by a nearby early warning aircraft, the FC-31 can get that info instantly no need to wait for radar confirmation. It's like having a group chat with every eye in the sky, except instead of memes and gifs, they're swapping enemy coordinates and attack vectors. In the age of digital warfare, this jet isn't just built to fly, it's built to think. This level of integration gives pilots an overwhelming advantage in situational awareness and coordinated attacks. It's essentially turning dogfights into digital chess only faster and with missiles. The FC-31 isn't just flying, it's strategizing in real time. Homegrown, high-tech, and hungry for the skies. Gone are the days when China depended on hand-me-down aircraft blueprints. The FC-31 is a proudly domestic creation, fine-tuned with homegrown tech, materials, and brain power. From its stealthy curves to its advanced electronics and avionics suite, this jet screams, we built this ourselves. And it didn't happen overnight. It's taken years of research, dozens of test flights, starting with a 10-minute flight in 2012, and multiple prototypes to reach this point. The latest version, observed as recently as March 2024, includes upgrades like folding wings for naval use and a catapult launch bar hinting at China's ambitions for aircraft carrier dominance. Each prototype flight signals another step away from imitation and toward innovation. It's not just an aircraft, it's proof of how far China has come in aerospace independence. The FC-31 isn't just flying, it's flexing. The future of aerial warfare. With every prototype, China inches closer to a sixth-generation powerhouse that can compete toe-to-toe -to -toe with America's best, including the legendary F-22 Raptor. While the U.S. clings tightly to its stealth tech secrets, China's FC-31 program is catching up fast, and in some areas, possibly even surpassing. The combination of super sensors, low observability, high maneuverability, and a flexible weapons platform makes the FC-31 J-35 a terrifyingly complete package. Whether it ends up serving as China's go-to land-based fighter or its Navy's winged ambassador, one thing is clear. This jet isn't just joining the club, it's crashing the party. The real twist? China's already testing carrier-based versions, which could change the balance of power at sea. If you hear a sonic boom over the Pacific in the next few years, don't be surprised if it's the J-35 making its entrance. This is no prototype, it's a preview of the future. If this stealthy sky beast blew your mind, smash that like button to show some love. Want more cutting-edge military tech and future warfare deep dives? Subscribe and join the squad. Got thoughts on the FC-31 versus the F-22? Drop your take in the comments, we're reading all of them.